All right, it's the morning of day four, and we're south of the halfway mark. And today is opening season for guns hunting, deer hunting in Kentucky. So we just passed by a deer blind. And we're gonna probably do, I guess, 14 or so miles today and then finish tomorrow if we don't get shot by a random bullet from a deer blind. We didn't make it to H. I mean, we did make it, we just don't know where it is. So here's H. Two years ago, we came from this vantage point going north to south, and we came along this road. We're somewhere between H and I. And you think the trail may go this way, or you think it may go off to the right, but it doesn't it goes that way in the middle. And we were at dark and we were not able to find the trail after dark, so we had to uh, get out and uh, go back home. Well, we couldn't find H, G, or H, but we did find I. So I don't know if somebody took down the signs or fell off or the tree fell down, but we've made it now to I. About 10 o'clock, between 9 and 10, he, we stopped to fix my buddy's uh, toe. He had some issues with his a blister. And the younger guy went ahead. And there was a turn that it looks like he may have gone the wrong way. And he got ahead of us without thinking. And so my buddy is going south on the trail. I have about 20 miles to the end of this through hike and that's where my vehicle is. I'm going to attempt to go 20 miles to the south trailhead and get my vehicle and then go find somebody that can help us find him or my buddy has already found him and then I can get in the truck and catch up with them, find them on a road. And we're basically keeping our cell phones about every 30 minutes to say battery. We're checking in with each other to see if he has found him or if I found him. We don't know if he just went forward or he took a wrong turn, but he, but I think he's just somewhere turned around and we should hopefully be able to find him in the next hour or so. Anyway, that's what we're
So we thought we lost Crazy Legs, but he had just gotten far ahead of us because he's younger and faster than us. He had stopped to eat lunch and uh, we backtracked for a while and then we decided to split up. Avalanche went south, I mean went back north for a while and I was just gonna head on south see I could find him and caught up with him. So all is back to normal. Hopefully we can uh, finish this thing out tomorrow. All right, we found uh, Crazy Legs, and so we're hiking south again. Uh, my buddy is going north, uh, and we texted him, finally got a signal, and told him that I found our third hiker. And so we're in a field now, but we're heading south, uh, trying to get to a shelter somewhere with about 11 miles to go. So this will probably be about a 16 or 17 mile day. Uh, oh! <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but there's hell. All right, so the end of day four. Uh, it's been a long day. I think we did about 16 miles. We made it to the Iron Mountain Shelter, which only gives us about 11 miles left to complete the through hike of the land between the lakes. <clears throat> uh, we spent a good portion of the day thinking we had lost one of our hikers with us, but he had just gone ahead and was eating lunch. And so one of our group is gone southbound and we finally got a text to him and tell him to come back. So he's headed this way, but I don't think he's going to make it to where we are tonight. On a lighter note, the Alpine Air three cheese pasta, like a mountain house meal, but Alpine Air brand, spectacular absolutely spectacular anyway that's what i had tonight so i'm gonna call it early night we didn't get here till dark so this is all i had uh and we'll catch you on the last day tomorrow